A ballistic missile fired by Yemeni rebels in targeting the Saudi capital last Saturday bore Iranian markings. Now, that's according to a senior U.S. Air Force official. Authorities are now investigating how the missile was smuggled into Yemen, which is under an extensive arms embargo. Saudi Arabia's crown prince has accused Iran of direct military aggression by supplying missiles to Houthi rebels. In response, the head of Iran's Revolutionary Guard, which controls the country's missile program, denied giving weapons to Yemen. We do not even have the ability to transfer missiles to Yemen. It's their missiles, and they've managed to increase the missile's range. Beirut-based journalist Martin Jay says that such incidents could spark further instability in the region. At this stage, we really can't say, we can't go into too much detail. It's, it's, it's difficult to actually pin this um, on the Houthi rebels when, in fact, they could have got those missiles from at least two other countries in the region. So um, I think a lot of speculation at this moment and um, no, nothing clear coming through immediately. We're at a point now where any, any such incident like this could possibly spark something bigger. And I think that's the, that's the great worry from, from leaders in the region. You know, ever since Trump came in and emboldened the Saudis with this anti-Iran idea, any such incident really is not going to help. So I think um, both sides need to be very careful about um, reading too much into this and, and taking things to the next level.